And just gone by is the former Deputy General Secretary of the NDC. Let's stay with the NDC because the party is demanding the arrest of the Minister for Special Development Initiatives, Hawa Kumsen, for firing a gun at a voter registration centre. Madame Kumsen said she fired the shots because she felt threatened. At a news conference in Accra today, the NDC's Director of Elections, Elvis Ifriya Ankara, described the minister as a gangster. This case has also been reported to the Kaswa Divisional Police, including a video capturing Francis Tete, a known MPP thug, hitting our party's agent's head with a block. Yet, shockingly, the police have refused to act on this evidence till date. The third attack was executed by these same gangsters brought in from Boku by Hawa Kumsen, numbering about 13. Oh, am I? Yeah, on an a NDC agent called Prosper at Amuzu Copper. This very attack was led by Atu Kumsen, the first child of Hawa Kumsen. Not satisfied with the aforementioned attacks, their next stop was the Kaswa New Town Electoral Area which happens to be another stronghold of the NDC in Kaswa. Nana One, the MPP constituency youth organizer and a member of the Delta forces that stormed the Ayawaso West War gone by elections, led these gangsters of land guards to brutally assault NDC agents, leaving them with deep cutlass wounds on their heads. Again, the case was reported to the Kaswa Deficient police officer with no arrest or invitation made till date. Two days before the shooting incident at the steps to Christ polling station, the MPP thugs led by Hawa Kumsen attacked and assaulted our ward coordinator Abdallah at the Joe Men's electoral area. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it is worth noting that all these violent attacks on our innocent supporters were committed by the same tax imported from Boku to Kaswa by Madame Mavis Hawa Kumson. The NDC is totally disgusted by the thuggish and criminal shooting incident involving a gang of MPP tax who were led by Hawa Kumson which has received both national and international condemnation, and which have been admitted by the Minister of State herself. We condemn in no uncertain terms such thuggery, sponsored and led by a high-ranking government official and lawmaker who is supposed to uphold the law at all times. How Kumsen has, by this singular criminal act, and the many others committed before, and her gang, together with her gang, and all that they've meted out to NDC supporters and innocent Ghanaians in the last couple of weeks, demonstrated that she is a gangster. 